Today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition is on the Electoral College of the United States. Visit PragerUKids.com to download this sweet worksheet and play along. This is Street Smarts, a game show on the streets where contestants are rewarded for their knowledge. Street Smarts! Welcome back to another episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with... <clears throat> oh, uh, Uncle Sam for PragerU Kids, and we're here at a local church in Thousand Oaks, California, to see what kids know about the Electoral College. So, Uncle Sam, let's go ask some questions. Let's go find out. Ooh, ooh. We have the one, the only, here appearing at Street Smarts, Michael. Michael! Michael! We have here... River. Bo. Cora. L. Ash. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Good! Hey, like we the attitude. That. Are you ready to answer some questions on the Electoral College? I hope I am, yeah. <laughs> All right, how confident do you feel about the Electoral College? Of your knowledge of the Electoral College. Of the knowledge of the college. Of the knowledge of the college. Uh, I think I have enough to get through. Okay. Here are the rules. There are a total of eight questions. Each correct answer is worth $5, but the final question is worth $20. If someone is stuck on a question, they can pay Uncle Sam $2 for a clue, or they can pay him $5 to ask for help from a friend or a parent. Now, once someone answers incorrectly, that is it. They are eliminated. However, the good news is they get to keep all the cash that they earned up to that point. Question one, are you ready? The Electoral College is a group of people who elect the blank of the United States every four years. The president. Oh, ding, 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 speaking ding. of presidents, yeah. there couple, we go. There's a couple presidents right there. George yeah. Washington's for you, sir. The Electoral College is a group of people who elect the blank of the United States every four years. The president. The Woo! president is Speaking of presidents, there you go. The president. Woo! That is correct. And there are your presidents. President. Woo! There you go. And, and there are your, your president. Uh, president. Woohoo! That is exactly. Correct. You got it. The president. The president is Woo! correct. You are correct. for question two. All right. Ready to get it. some there more money? Go. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Question two. True or false? The candidate that the most people vote for always becomes president, no matter what the Electoral College results are. False. Woo! Didn't even have to think about that. Oh, there you Another go. Five Another five dollars for you, five. sir. True. Oh, we are so sorry, Bo. That is incorrect. Yes, that is incorrect. It is false. False. That is indeed correct. True. Unfortunately, it is false. It is not true. But you are $5 richer, Ash. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm going to go with false. You are correct. That is true that it is false. There is another $5 for you, River. Yes, you River. It is false. The candidate must win the majority of the Electoral College votes in order to become president. So you got that correct with another $5. Here's question three. One of the benefits of the Electoral College is that it keeps candidates from only campaigning to states with A, larger populations, B, popular governors, or C, giant spiders. Could I have a clue? Absolutely, yes, I'll take $2 for my clue tax. Thank you, L. L, here's your clue. California and New York are examples of these states. A, larger populations, B, popular governors, or C, giant spiders. Larger populations. That's that a two for five, good job, L. That is correct, and that is a great Way investment. Use that clue. A, larger population. A is correct. And correct some them. larger oh. bills in your hand, good sir. A, larger population. A is correct. There you go, another five a, for you, a Cora. For Cora. A, A for Cora, Cora. Question four. When a citizen casts their ballot for president, they are actually voting for blank to vote for their candidate in the electoral college. A, electors. B, scientists, or C, Supreme Court justice? 
A electors? Hey, Sam, hey, you already know what to do. A is correct. C. No. Okay, can I have a clue? Yes, you can. Mm, yep, That'll yep. be $2. I'll take Just $2. I will buy a clue. Ah, oh, there we go. I <laughs> uh, will take the clue text. Thank you kindly. All right, Al, here's your clue. Remember, they are voting to elect the president. A, electors, B, scientists, or C, Supreme Court justice. Electors. Electors is true. You elected to answer the right question. All right, River, here is your clue. Remember, they are voting to elect the president. A, electors, B, scientists, or C, Supreme Court justice. All right, I will, I will go with A, electors. And the clue came through for another $5! Yes, ooh, is ooh. correct, Ripper! Ooh, ooh. You're gonna ask a fish one of the questions? Yeah, I was actually gonna ask. Um, whichever one wants to come up, don't be shy now. Oh, okay, okay, we got a first contender. Um, which, okay, got shy. <laughs> Question number five. The number of electoral votes a state has in a presidential election is its total members in the House of Representatives plus the number of blank it has. A, people, B, governors, or C, senators? A, people. Oh! That is incorrect! Incorrect! Michael! Oh, no. <laughs> no, I know. Abraham Lincoln wanted you to buy a clue. Can I have a clue? Yes, Absolutely. you can. Think- All right, Cora, here is your clue. Every state has exactly two of these. A, people, B, governors, or C, senators? Senators. That is correct. And that was a two for five deal. Good two job, Cora. Two for Cora. five, nice. Very nice. C, senators. Give him this five, I Uncle see Sam. see what you mean, and there is another five. Question six. How many electoral college votes are currently needed for a candidate to win a presidential election? A, 120, B, 270, or C, 300? 120. That is incorrect. So sorry, Cora. Can I ask an adult? All right, Mama Bear. How many electoral college votes are currently needed for a candidate to win a presidential election? 270. 270! Whoa! And a five back to you, Elle. Nice, you say Elle. Your Thank you! <laughs> I'm going to go with A. What's A? 120. And Fortunately, that is incorrect. incorrect. But you did great, man. Yeah! River, let's count out that money River. that you earned. $23 richer $23 for River! River. Yeah. Question number seven. 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 All right. If no candidate wins the majority of electoral votes, who decides who the president will be? A, the Senate, B, the House of Representatives, or C, the Supreme Court? The, it's the House of Representatives. (laughs) You (laughs) would be correct, Good job, good job. And here is for $20, the final question. L, which state currently has the most electoral votes in the country? California. She struck gold, ladies and gentlemen. She has struck gold. So you're gonna buy mom lunch, right? <laughs> Maybe Starbucks. <laughs> Maybe Starbucks. <laughs> In today's episode, we learned about the Electoral College, which is the system used to elect the president and vice president every four years in the United States. The founders considered carefully and deliberately about how the nation's leaders should be chosen. The founders debated how the president and vice president would be selected. They discussed having Congress choose, but were concerned that this might make the president and vice president care too much about what Congress wanted and not what the people wanted. They discussed having the people choose through popular vote, 
but many feared that people might be easily influenced by ambitious men who wanted power. The Founding Fathers had also worried that if the winner was based on a popular vote, candidates would go only to the states with large populations to win as many votes as possible and ignore all of the less populated states. This would give states with large populations an unfair advantage. Through the debates and using lessons from history, the founders drafted a constitution that created a Republican or representative form of government, and Article II of the Constitution establishes the Electoral College. This system ensured that presidential candidates had to get support from all across the country, and that every state and population were represented in electing the leader of the United States. In our Electoral College system, each state receives a number of electoral voters, or electors, equal to the total number of members it has in both the House and Senate. So when citizens vote for president and vice president, they are not actually voting directly for the candidates. Rather, they are selecting the presidential candidates they want their state electors to vote for in the general election. These electors, who are nominated by states' political parties, will typically vote for the candidates who receive the most popular votes in their state. In the end, the candidate with the majority of electoral votes wins the presidency. If no candidate wins the majority of the electoral votes, then the House of Representatives votes to decide who the president will be, and the Senate chooses the vice president. Fun fact, while most states have laws that bind electors to vote for whichever candidate wins the popular vote in the state, some electors can still choose to vote for a different candidate. These are known as faithless electors. The Electoral College is a unique election process that balances the different interests and needs of states, both small and large, in choosing the leader of the United States. Thank you to all our contestants for participating in today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with Uncle Sam. And until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you next episode. Peace! Bye! Uh, uh. Yo, my name is Selena, and this is Uncle Sam. We're asking creative questions. We hope they understand. Because if they get it right, well, you know the twist. <laughs> Wait, don't worry. I speak fish. Okay. Oh, blue, Oh, I got this. I do speak fish. Look at you, what's the answer? <laughs> I know, I always mess it up. <laughs> we have. I just spit all over. <laughs> Yo, my name is Selena, and this is Uncle Sam. We're asking kids questions we hope they understand. Because if they get it right, well, you know the plan, they'll be getting dollar bills in their little tiny hands. Oh, word. Street smarts. Hey, hey, thanks for watching this episode. We hope you learned a lot. You know we have more, right? PragerU Kids is devoted to teaching what most schools aren't, our American values, history, and blessings. Watch more at PragerUKids.com, and parents, don't forget to subscribe.